Well, I mean, the main reason for putting the April Thesis together with the Communist Manifesto is for a number, there are a number of things important. First, the April Theses, of course, in their practice were a challenge to the manifesto, not waiting for a country to become a developed capitalist country and reach a certain stage before you make a revolution. And Lenin theorized this in his theory of the weak link, that the weakest link in the capitalist chain breaks first precisely because it is the weakest. And this was a challenge to orthodoxy. And of course, a lot of people, orthodox Marxists, social democrats, said, uh, this is crazy, it's ultra-left, you know, this is not uh, what we need to do, this contradicts the manifesto. Uh, and Lenin didn't care. I mean, he said he was always of the view that we learn from everything, that socialism, communism is an approximation. And practice, the unity of theory in practice is what takes you forward. So that was the reason. And there is another link, which I think people don't like to think about too much. But that link is the following. That had not Lenin, as a Marxist, revolutionary politician propelled the Russian Revolution forward, had he been not been its leader, had there been no Russian Revolution, it's very likely that Marx would have been confined to libraries or his works. He would, it, it would not have become something that people studied. Capital would have been read by economists. Maybe people would have learned something from it. And the Communist Manifesto would have been forgotten. After all, the Anarchist Manifestos were forgotten. So this would have been forgotten. It was Lenin and the victory of the revolution in October 1917 that projected Marx's writings to a scale which nobody could have foreseen. And the Communist Manifesto became the most translated and most read document after the Bible. But the link with the revolution was crucial. And that's why I put these two texts uh, together, which we published in Brazil and in other parts of the world. And I think people have to understand this link. And today you have a situation sometimes where many Marxists can talk and discuss without being too political. Marx himself was very political, you know, analyzed every big political event the going on in France at the time, the Paris Commune, the coup of Napoleon III, etc., etc. Uh, likewise, uh, Lenin. So it's important, I think, to combine these two little but extremely important uh, essays by these two giants uh, in order to explain to people how they are linked to each other.